Welcome to HIMT's YouTube channel. Today, we'll take a closer look at the various components that make up a vacuum distillation-based fresh water generator and its operation. So let's dive in. At the heart of this unit, we find two essential heat exchangers, both of the shell and tube type. The bottom heat exchanger serves as the evaporator responsible for the initial stage of the distillation process. Above it, we have the top heat exchanger, also known as the condenser. Its semi-cylindrical shell covers only the bottom half of the tube stack. This design allows water vapor to come into contact with the outside of the cold tubes, facilitating condensation. Here we have the deflector, which changes the directional flow of the vapor to remove any moisture carried along with it. Next, we have the demister. As the vapor progresses, the demister comes into play. This critical component is strategically placed in the vapor flow path to remove any mist carried with the vapor. Next, we have a safety valve. Safety is of utmost importance, and that's why a safety valve is installed to safeguard against overpressure. We must also consider the vacuum breaker, which comes into action when the fresh water generator is stopped. Its purpose is to break the vacuum, allowing for a smooth shutdown of the system. This is a sight glass, which shows the boiling of water inside. Next, we have the adductor for maintaining vacuum inside the shell. The adductor helps to sustain the required vacuum and also aids in removing the brine. Proper vacuum is achieved through an air ejection outlet. While a separate outlet is dedicated to the removal of brine, this is the seawater feed inlet and this is the feed water inlet valve, which controls the flow of incoming water. Next, we have the distillate pump to extract the fresh water from the condenser. A sight glass is also installed, allowing for easy monitoring. Next, we have a salinometer to test the water salinity of the water produced. A three-way valve enables versatile control over the water flow, allowing for efficient routing depending upon the salinity level as required during operation, either to a fresh water storage tank or to fresh water generator shell. A flow meter is also installed to accurately measure the quantity of fresh water generated. This is the hot jacket water inlet to the evaporator, which is a crucial part of the distillation process. And this is the jacket water outlet where the cooled water exits the evaporator after the heat exchange process. This is the cooling water inlet. It is the entry point for the cooling water that circulates through the condenser. This is the cooling water outlet where the cooled water exits the condenser, having absorbed heat from the vapor and facilitated its condensation. This is the ejector pump, and it is responsible for creating a vacuum in the generator and to supply seawater. We do also have a strainer in the suction side of the ejector pump which filters out any impurities or debris from the water before it enters the pump. This is the overboard valve of the ejector pump, which allows for the discharge of water from the system after its usage. Here we have the electrical panel, which is used to start the ejector and distillate pump. Various indicating instruments are also fitted to monitor and assess the system's performance. This is the compound gauge at the ejector pump suction side. This is the pressure gauge at the discharge side of the ejector pump. We also have thermometers installed at the inlet and outlet of the jacket water, allowing for temperature monitoring and control during the distillation process. This thermometer on the shell measures the temperature of the generator shell, providing insights into its overall thermal conditions. This vacuum gauge on the shell indicates the level of vacuum within the generator, ensuring it remains within the required range. We also have thermometers at the inlet and outlet of the cooling water to the condenser to measure the temperature of the cooling water, aiding in maintaining optimal cooling conditions. This is the pressure gauge at the discharge side of the distillate pump, providing a reading of the pressure at the pump's outlet, allowing for performance evaluation. These indicating instruments collectively enable operators to monitor and regulate the fresh water generator, ensuring its efficient and reliable operation for water production. Now let's see the step-by-step -step operation of a fresh water generator. Let's dive in. Let's begin by shutting the vacuum breaker valve and take note of the flow meter reading. Now open the suction side valves of the ejector pump and purge the air from the system using the vent valve on the strainer. 
Now open the discharge side valves and the overboard valve. After that, switch on the electric power and check the voltmeter reading. Now start the ejector pump and observe the ammeter reading. Now note the ejector pump suction and discharge side pressures. And then open the seawater feed inlet valve to the evaporator. The seawater as it flows through the ejector sucks the air and the brine from the shell due to Bernoulli's principle. This causes the vacuum to be created inside the shells so that the evaporation of the seawater can take place at a lower temperature with the available waste heat of jacket water. Now monitor the vacuum gauge reading and as it goes less than 0.9 bar, open the jacket water outlet valve and then the jacket water inlet valve to the evaporator. Close the jacket water bypass valve, partially so that required heating is achieved in the evaporator. Note the temperature gauge readings of the jacket water at the inlet and the outlet. And notice the boiling process taking place in the evaporator through the sight glass. As the steam comes in contact with the cooling water tubes, it gets condensed. When the sight glass in the distillate line is filled with the distillate, open the valves in the distillate line and start the distillate pump and monitor the ammeter reading. Now regulate the discharge valve of the ejector pump to maintain the water level at half of the gauge glass. After that, observe the salinometer reading, which is set to give an alarm when the salinity of the distillate exceeds 10 ppm. When the salinity is more than 10 ppm, the three-way valve transfers the distillate either to bilge well or back to the freshwater generator shell. When the salinity drops to less than 10 ppm, the three-way valve transfers the distillate to freshwater storage tank. This concludes our demonstration of the operation of a freshwater generator. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. Thank you for watching.